Among the 3,000 troops headed to the Mideast are in the immediate response force of the Army's 82nd Airborne Division in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Watching members of his former brigade respond to the crisis is all too familiar to an Army veteran right here in Maine. Matt Hamill served in Iraq, helping secure the most dangerous areas in that country. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee reports from the town of Chelsea. Matt Hamill says images of the breach of the U.S. Embassy compound by protesters last week in Baghdad was hard to watch. It's heartbreaking to see, um, you know, areas get secured over overseas and then as soon as you leave them, they get, they're lost again. Hamill served in Iraq with the Army's 4th Brigade, 25th Infantry Division. His unit patrolled Baghdad in the main highway that ran right through the country. Service members were looking for improvised explosive devices or IEDs and insurgents responsible for planning the roadside bombs. Many of the suspects taken into custody were linked to Tehran long before Iran's rise as a power player in Iraq. All of them have ties to Iran. So it's nothing new. It's, we all knew it was a matter of time before something that I ran really popped off. After Hamill returned home from Iraq, he transferred to the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Regarded as the country's immediate response force, <laughs> members are trained to deploy in large numbers in as little as 18 hours. You're just doing training all the time. You're ready to go at whenever you're called upon. 3,500 members are expected to deploy to the Middle East to serve as reinforcements following the death of a top Iranian general by a U.S. drone strike. As a member of the elite force, Hamill deployed to Afghanistan. His brigade spent seven months securing dangerous areas where civilians were hostile to American troops. We're in a lot of firefights. Um, we lost a lot of good men there. Um, it, was a, it was a hard it was a hard tour. When Hamill got out of the Army, he struggled re-entering civilian life back home in Maine. He ended up homeless but got back on his feet after spending time at the Bread of Life shelter in Augusta. His experience on the street inspired him to start a nonprofit called Heroes for Homeless. The organization collects and donates household and personal items. It's pretty much anything that a veteran may need to get off the streets, get in their own place. Giving back to his fellow veterans is helping Hamill heal from the demons of war. Leaders in Iran, in the meantime, are vowing retaliation for the general's killing. I hope they make it back home to their family um, is the biggest thing. Um, you know, they've been there before. Holding on to hope that growing tensions between the two countries won't lead to an all-out conflict. In Chelsea, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. And if you'd like information on how to help the Heroes for Homeless program, you can go to our website and our mobile app.